to start talking. How? We are going to put on a show that, um, it's about a witch's daughter who gets killed on her wedding day by her husband. And there's only two people, really, in the story. And one, and then, well, there's actually three. And one of them is Spike. That is going to play as her husband that kills her. And, yeah. And I, it's going to go like, I'm going to send to a place that's not very delightful. And very, very warm. So, Spidey, you may want to put on a bikini. Or something like that. But I don't think that. Alright. Here we start. Long ago. When no humans were around, there was only witches and goblins and except for only two people. It was my daughter and her husband. It was their wedding day. All the goblins and the fairies and the witches and everything was there. And then it turns out everyone was rushing to us, rushing, rushing, rushing to me. And was like, oh my gosh, your daughter's dead. You must go to her funeral. So I went. And there she laid dead. And I was not too very happy about that. And when that happened, um, her husband wasn't there. <laughs> so then I was like, all right, this isn't happening. So he finally got there, and I was like, what'd you do with her? You do not do that ever again. You do not do that. I will kill you until you are dead. Do not even try to, and I will be sending you a very far place away from here. And it is called, now, I'm going to bring my daughter back to life. So, hopefully she's still in the bed. And she's still dead. Here I go. All right. Here I go. There she is. She will appear into this, into the camera. Salama! You a zippity boppity boo come alive. Oh, oh, come alive. Uh, what happened? You got killed by your stupid husband. <sighs> this is my dog. Hello. Hey. My name is Forrest. Um, so what happened? Wait, I thought I was dead. I what? brought you back to life. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. To tell the story of how it happened. Going on. Well, it was upon my wedding day. I was walking down the aisle all so happy. I was holding a feather that my dearest friend had given me as a good luck charm. Sadly, that good luck charm did not work well. I was brutally murdered by my so-called husband on the night that the wedding was supposed to happen. No one was around. They were just beginning to arrive at the after party when he suddenly pulled out a knife from the wedding cake started stabbing me, cutting me, and everything. And that, then everything went blank. And now I'm here! Yeah! What, Mom? You need to clean your room. I don't want to clean my room. Go clean your room. I've been dead for hundreds of years. Just clean your room. No. Just clean your room. Fine! And you will get an iPod touch. Yay. And she forgot. That day. Yeah, so that's how it all went, but 
there's still more to tell you. And, yeah. And how about we bring the guy back to life that killed her? Here I go. Raising him from the hotness. I hope he had a fun time at the beach. With all that sand and stuff in Mom, it. take a stupid yeah. bucket. Hey, Nan, you need to clean the room first and pull all the garbage in there. I already did. You won't get the iPod touch. That room better be spotless by the time I get in there. I already did here. Oh, my gosh. to speak to the camera. No, I'm not speaking to the camera. Fine. You won't be able to get to see your wife. My wife. Oh, I'm dating the friend that gave her that stupid um feather. I told her to give her that feather so she would die and I can date her friend. Forrest? What? Come here. Fine. Did you just hear what he said? No. He said, he told your friend to, he just say it again. I told your fr her friend, her stupid friend, to get her that feather just so I can marry that girl instead of Forrest so she can die. Let me see. Now, I will send him. I'll be back. I have to go scrape off the pavement. Let her tell the more of the story. I already told them the story. Tell them more. I don't want to tell them more. You must. This is so unfair. No. No. She's so mean, Mom. You know things happen when that happens. You just know. I gotta go pee. Now. You need to. Mop the floors, get in your bed, get, 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 get in the bed. Nope. It's officially her bedtime now. Nope. So, practice your clarinet. Nope. Her clarinet is very, very bloody. When you spit, it's blood. It's not my fault I killed the man. She's apparently she killed the man. I jabbed it in his head, okay? Jeez. You jabbed it in his head. Now, I have to get my daily medicine. For... I have this because... I need to go pee. I have this because... Mom, I forgot how you go to the bathroom. Just walk in the bathroom and go pee. No. This is my daily medicine. It can be evil. You got it all over your needle. I do not have a needle. Oh, wait. This is too. Huh. If you do not go to the bedroom, I will stick this needle all over you. All right. Well, she goes to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. There are destructions. There are, um, destruction. What are they called? Instructions? <laughs> there are instructions on the wall in front of the toilet. You need to read them before you go to the bathroom. I don't want to go. I don't have to go anymore. But she doesn't have to go. All right. Okay, Mom, I gotta go now. Go to the bathroom. No, I don't have to no more now. She doesn't have to go. I take my daily medicine like four times. Um, this was made by her husband. And now, dude, the basket's floating. And now, I'm going to smash it. No. Psst. 
doesn't sound like it is shut. Shh. Why would you scream no? Why are you screaming no? To kill that. What your husband had made you. What do you like of it? I still love him. Gee, if you love him so much, why'd he kill you? Because I called him a douchebag. Would you like me to bring your friend into this conversation? I turned her into a feather. No, you didn't. But she's sitting right there. She, oh, I hear her at the front door. She wants to come in. Come in! Don't stop. Elmo! This is your friend. Now, did that kid tell you to give her the feather so you can marry him? Well, he wanted to marry you instead of her. So is that why you gave her the feather so she would die? The story comes out. That is very, very true. But... You're not my friend no more! But I did not want to. Like, I truly didn't. I would like... to have a second chance with her. Forest! Why? Come on down! Here she comes. What? Would you like to be friends with this lady? Screw you, no. She would like to be... No, we got it back down here. No! Get your booty down here. No! You can give her a second chance. Okay. She will give you a second chance. She doesn't, she no, doesn't. I wouldn't. She doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't. I heard that. You would not. Bye. Bye. You would not be getting that iPod touch. Unless you get down here and say sorry before she gets in that car and drives off. She can leave. Well, while she talks to you, business is mostly me right now. Well, who doesn't love Why me? Why don't we end this? This is going to be extremely long. Who doesn't love me? Anyway, she'll talk to you, but... <sighs> I need to go pee again. Go pee. It went away. I don't have to. Well... Go and all right, go pee, okay, and yeah. Why don't we just end it? All right, go pee, Forest. Fine. Oh, gee, that was a fast pee. Oh, wait. It's she not over with. It comes out in squirts. Oh, really? Yes, really. Okay, that's all. Oh. Um, she's gonna talk to you for a little bit about some random things. Tell, she's gonna just like tell you how her wedding date was. No, I won't. They don't need to know. And how, well, she's just gonna talk to you. Here she is. Forrest! No! Come down here. Those people scare me. Forrest, we are in the live audience right now. They scare me! You Stop know! Stop taking your drugs! You know, the third drug I take, I will get very mad at you, and you will be crying and not get that iPod touch! Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So, <laughs> probably your time to get off. You know, you know, you know, you know, you have to listen to me. You get in your bedroom and you clean this. I thought you cleaned this when you threw the skull at me. <laughs> uh, no, I don't have to clean this stupid bedroom. I'm dead. It doesn't matter. You are not dead. <laughs> <laughs> you may be dead, but I don't care. I've been dead for 50,000 years. You'll be dead for one week. Uh-uh, a hundred years. She's lying. Do you want to see our pets? No, I'm not.